Am I doing the Course in Miracles or spiritual work to stay in control? And am I uh, doing a doing if I'm going to spiritual groups uh, to um, uh, to um, for spiritual work? Or am I trying to avoid spiritual work by doing that? And um, uh, so is is there an avoidance going on? by doing spiritual work? And the answer to that is yes. Uh, yes, but it could be okay depending on where you are in your spiritual journey. So there's a difference between doing and being. Uh, so doing is when you're, you still have an ego and you're still taking actions in the world from the place of ego to get an outcome. Uh, so it's like, okay, later today, in, I'm in my head. Later today, I'm going to go to the Course in Miracles group to do that. Uh, so I've done, I can tick box, I've done some spiritual work to get closer to God. And then I've got another thing, there's some other things I'll be doing for the rest of the day. So at a certain point in the spiritual journey for someone who's relatively newish or medium recovery, doing is okay. It's still progress. So um, uh, it's still progress that you're doing actions which means you're still in your ego and you're still in the belief. Uh, you're still not ready, ripe enough, spiritually advanced enough to be committed to being at all times. So being would be um, no putting in the effort so that uh, in every moment one is trying to be in the observer, in the infinite, in the timeless, in that which is beyond thought. So then that would be... Um, uh, letting go of the addiction to thought and being in the ego to being uh, ceaselessly in the infinite. And that's not a doing, that's grace, because the ego has a vested interest not to be in the observer. So the ego is not going to help you. That would be grace, that the, um, the grace has come now not to identify with thoughts any longer and just to remain and become stable in the infinite, so in the beingness, in the presence, and the enlightened state forevermore, and to let go of the idea that identifying with thought and living uh, living life from the ego um, is the, the highest state of spiritual involvement. So that would be the thing. So now, if an advanced spiritual seeker who's now in the process of being and is capable of being ceaselessly in the infinite is still in their head, and still feels quite they want to stay in their head and do things to try and make progress, then I'd say that would be potentially an avoidance of just ceaselessly trying to be in presence, in beingness, in the infinite, in the witnessing, in that which is beyond form and thought. So it could be at that point that the ego has got a subtle belief system, a clever trick going on for an advanced speaker that yeah, I'm going to carry on reading and doing and living life from the head. But it, there is, is a sneaky game of that that can that would probably carry on for some years before there's spiritual inspiration. That it's an avoidance from the ego because the capacity to be in the witnesser is there, to be in the infinite is there, but there isn't yet that inspiration to finish the job off and have longer periods of being this presence. Uh, non-reliance on the ego. So for someone who's new, who can't even access the observer or the witnesser, uh, being in the doing for an appropriate amount of time, that, that, that would be appropriate. They're not capable yet. So they're going to do the, they're going to do the course of miracles for, from the head, from spiritual progress. They're going to do the observer, but they're, they're not getting a glimpse of, of being in the infinite. So that, that, that's appropriate for someone who's relatively new uh, to the, um, to the experience of being in, in the infinite. So that would be my answer to, uh, is, it, is it on doing, doing things? Doing things comes from the head. Uh, you know, uh, being empty and what comes out of emptiness, out of the silence, out of the infinite field, uh, that's being an instrument, if you like, of, of, the, of uh, in the, there's no head there orchestrating life. Okay, I'll stop that 